Hello, my name's Andrew, I'm one of the curators of the York Museums Trust, and this is everything that you need to know about international Roman in York in one minute. Roman York was truly an international place. It had ideas, materials, objects and people from an empire that spanned continents. We see that in the objects that we find today. We have beautifully decorated pottery from France. We have coins from Carthage in North Africa and Antioch in the Near East and amphora that originally carried wine from Italy and the Mediterranean. Beyond these, we should also imagine Roman York as a place where many languages were spoken, diverse gods were worshipped, and different foods were eaten. International Roman York is perhaps best illustrated by the burial of a young woman known to us today as Ivory Bangle Lady. Scientific testing suggests she was born in North Africa. She was found wearing ivory bangles around her wrist, elephant ivory coming from central southern Africa. She was wearing amber earrings, with amber coming from the Baltic in northern Europe. And she had an object in her grave that suggests she may have been Christian, a religion that had recently arrived from the East. She was someone who had travelled across the empire, wore objects from two continents, and was buried right here in Europe.